about it, I'll just say that um, it's going to be a lot more fun at the uh, annual reunion now for the charity. It's been all good just tasting myself in the last couple of years. So I look forward to that, mate. Um, I will make a quick mention to Gus and for his hundreds. But no. <laughs> Same day that Jimmy Steins broke the league record for the most consecutive games. So I don't know how you feel, mate. <laughs> Go well, Jimmy. Well. Um, now I know, uh, I don't know, Nathan probably wants me just to, to shut up and so he can get on with it. I know he wants to get out there and play his role and uh, be a part of a great victory tonight. Um, but it is important just to stop for a moment and think about Jonesy's career. Um, He's the second, second player at the Melbourne Football Club, but the 92nd player in the league, in the competition, to get to 300 games. And uh, when you think about 150 years of history of the game, uh, it's a mighty fine effort. Um, I think uh, this game of ours is the most brutal game in the world. You know, it's a 360 degree game, it takes a lot of courage to play this game. Um, you know, you've got to have the aerobic capacity, the power, the speed, the mental application. It's a really tough game. Um, and, and with only 92 now getting there, it's, a, it's an amazing effort, Mark. So you should be really, really, really proud of that. Um, and it also talks to, to Nathan and his resilience as a player and as a person to be able to, to make this achievement. Um, I, think, I think that you've got to have a bit of good fortune as well, to get through, you've got to have uh, blessed with the right genes of the Jones clan, which you have been. Um, and, and the values that they're instilled within you, mate, make you not only a great player, but a great bloke and a great teammate to play with as well. Um, you've got to be fortunate with the people that uh, you surround yourself with and the meet, the, your, your mentors along the way as well. Uh, and that group's probably led by your wife, Kerry, beautiful Kerry. Um, she's, been, she's been amazing. and. Um, as everyone here in the room knows, you've been very fortunate. You've probably just batted a few steps out of your crease for a long, long time. <laughs> but, uh, but she's been on the journey since before it even started, and uh, it's a beautiful partnership that you guys have. Uh, and obviously, you're going to have a bit of luck with injuries and being able to withstand that as well. Um, I guess the other thing I wanted to say is that um, people have said to me, oh, Nathan Jones really deserves 300. Uh, and I say, no, I don't agree with that. Um, because I believe that, that what you get in this game is what you earn. And you might have earned every one of these 300 games. And um, I could go back, you know, when you first came into the Melbourne Footy Club, I thought you had a really, the really right uh, mixture of self-confidence and self-belief, uh, respect for your teammates and for the game, um, and a real professionalism that you brought to our team back then as well. But it wasn't easy for you, mate. You know, we had played uh, two years of finals. Uh, we were on the, on the road to playing another series of finals. Uh, it was round 17 and you broke in and you weren't that game, mate. And you've earned every one of those games since. Um, I think throughout your journey of your career, you've earned the respect of the Melbourne people, the Melbourne fans. Uh, there has been a bit of darkness in your, in your career, as everyone's spoken about. And you have been that light, mate. You've been the shining light. Um, probably not too many Melbourne players have put their head in the, in the meat grinder like you have over your career. Um, you're absolutely courageous. You've got a huge heart. And you're a great Melbourne person. Um, and not only that, I think you've got the respect and you've earned the respect of the entire AFL competition for what you've done so far. So, um, so probably now's the time where Jody says shut up, Nita. <laughs> <laughs> So I will, but what I will say is, um, is that you guys, these teammates here tonight, you guys are really fortunate to be a part of this game. It is a big game, it's a, it's a huge game um, for you guys, but you're really fortunate to be here as part of this, this monumental moment for the Melbourne Footy Club. Um, and Jonesy, when you, when you talk about uh, what you deserve, Jonesy knows you don't deserve anything really. You just gotta get what you earn. And, um, yeah, the five wins to date don't count. Charging 300 doesn't count tonight, but you'll get what you earn tonight if you play like Jonesy has played throughout his career with the heart 
but never say die attitude. Uh, mate, you've been a credit to yourself, a credit to your family, and a credit to this club, and congratulations on your 300. Wow.